Omar, obviously no one wants to be down there at the bottom of the table and you're all working hard. What is it differently that you feel you've got to do to start turning results around? Um, I think the main way is just, just work harder, um, especially individually, like making sure your player doesn't beat you. And obviously as a team, like you, you want to win games, but you can't win every game and also something that's going to happen and you're going to lose like some, well, a few games in a row. But more, most important is we've got to stick together and obviously work for the game on Saturday. And I suppose working together as a team, you know, everyone pulling in the same direction is crucial as well. Yeah, massively. Like Without a team, you can't win games. You know, and if one player lets a team down, we might going to crumble. But um, obviously we prepared, prepared, prepared right on Saturday. Uh, worked really hard. So on our shape work defensively and obviously going forward. So I think we shouldn't have any problems to hopefully get a result out of it. Obviously goals have been you know, hard to come by of late. You got the last Forest Green one up at Port Vale. What is it that's not happening in terms of goals going in? Is it not enough chances or is it just sort of a bit of too much pressure on, if you like, when, you, when you're presented with that chance? Um, there's always going to be pressures on strikers because if you get a chance you don't take it, so your head's going to go down. But um, we had plenty of, a ch- plenty of chances to sort of take them, but we just need that ex- bit, of, bit of extra luck to sort of obviously finish it. And obviously secure us three points. But it will come, do you know I mean? It's, it's a long season to go and... It's going to happen that you're obviously going to miss a chance, but just make sure you put your head, don't put your head down. Just keep going and hope you get or take your chance next time. And away at Cambridge on Tuesday night, you play quite deep. I suppose you know in those situations, you've got to drop back a little bit and help the midfield out, but also try and get up there and support Christian Doidge. It's a difficult one, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Like as, as, a, as a ten, you've got to do both jobs defensively and obviously going forward. So when you defend, you have to make sure you support your number four or number eight. And when you go forward, you've got to make sure you support Doidge or whatever place in that position because if you don't do that, he's on his own, basically. Obviously, we've seen you move around a little bit. You are versatile. How do you find the 10 role? Um, it's my favourite position because I can do the defensive work and also going forward, so getting a half turn and driving for the ball and get other players involved. And I suppose, you know, it, it's it's less of that sort of, you know, you can drop in between um, the lines, can't you, and sort of you can find a bit of space there. Yeah, definitely. Like um, I said, if you're playing a ten, you're always in the final third, and that's the zone where you, where you have freedom. Basically, you can do what you want. So as soon as you get in your half turn, make sure you get players involved, or even if you're in space, have a shot and hopefully get a goal. Accrington, they're up the top, but they've been playing a lot of teams in the lower half of the table recently. And I suppose Cheltenham showed last week that you know you can get a result against them. Yeah, definitely. Like at the end of that, it's eleven v eleven. If you if you make sure your player doesn't beat you hopefully get a result out of it and I, I personally think we obviously we've been not in the best position obviously we have never been in that position but um, if we stick together and do our job we'll be fine and do the same thing as Cheltenham have done no panic um, we spoke to Gaffer he's mentioned to us like there's no pressure it's be the first time in the league and obviously we knew it's going to be tough so we have to get used to it and make sure we get results